First, though, back to the Hill now. We're awaiting a hearing on the Veterans Affairs scandal. What a story this has become. The VA Secretary, Eric Shinseki, testifies before that Senate committee. The scandal has exploded, and no one is quite sure where it will end or how it will be corrected. Senator Jerry Moran, member of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee, also the first senator call for Shinseki's resignation. And, sir, good morning to you. Bill, good morning. What do you need to know today? You know, Bill, when we finish this conversation, I'm headed to the World War II Memorial to meet an honor flight. Uh, and what I want to know from the Secretary of Veterans Affairs is the sacrifice and service that these World War II veterans that I'm meeting with this morning at their memorial, is their sacrifice, is, is the Veterans Department going to treat them in a way that's worthy of their sacrifice and service? And to date, we've seen plenty of evidence that that's not the case from my state in Kansas and talking to individual veterans and now these national stories that break, it seems like almost every day with problems at a new hospital or facility across the country. Uh, based on the statement that's prepared and I read earlier today, Shinseki won't say much. Or Shinseki, I should say, because there is an internal investigation already underway. Will that satisfy you? Uh, absolutely not. In fact, I'm not impressed by the fact that there's another internal investigation that uh, the secretary has announced. Uh, one would think that in a normal kind of circumstance like this, a, a scandal breaking, that what you would want is an investigation. Unfortunately, there have been dozens of investigations over the last several years, all pointing to serious problems in the timeliness and quality of care that our veterans receive. And the real issue is that the Department of Veterans Affairs has been unable, unable or unwilling to respond in any fashion that improves the circumstance. Yeah. So I'm not impressed by the fact there's going to be one more examination. What I want to see is what is going to happen at the department. How are you going to lead the Department of Veterans Affairs that changes the bureaucracy, the culture, the nature of this place so that our veterans are cared for in a timely, quality way? Two more questions on that, how you correct the problem. You believe we've only scratched the surface. Well, I believe that if we have such difficulties today taking care, for, taking care of our servicemen and women as they leave the military, we know the population is only going to increase as individuals retire from their service in Afghanistan and Iraq. We know we have a significant uh, aging population of World War II veterans with more challenges. Uh, if we can't care for the veteran population today, how are we going to care for the one that's, that's coming, the one that increases on a daily basis? Uh, and so there is more to come. That is a, uh, that is a, that, uh, that is a relevant point too. Phoenix, Colorado, Wyoming, all egregious if true and, and downright offensive as well. Is there one offense Absolutely. that's worse than others that we don't know about yet? Uh, you know, I don't know whether there's worse, but I have no doubt. And just in talking, since I uh, called for the secretary's resignation, veterans have been contacting me, uh, our office, with additional stories of the problems they or their families have experienced. So I have no doubt that uh, there is more to come. And particularly now that the, the media, uh, the press is interested in this story, I would guess that there's uh, lots of, uh, of, of, of headlines yet to be told. Jerry Moran, thank you for your time. Republican from Kansas, I hope that last statement is thank not you. true, but we will find out in time. Sir, thank you. We're watching 10 o'clock, 50 minutes from now. Appreciate it. All right, Jerry. Bill Boyd, do we have a packed show?